Welcome to another video. I am Tukumbo Adebowale. In this video, I will show you how to stake your call. You will also learn how to undelegate or transfer your call to another validator whenever you want to. But before we get into that, I want you to subscribe to this channel if you have not done that before. Turn on your notification bell, like this video and share this video. Without much ado, let's get right into it. In your MetaMask wallet, tap Menu, tap Browser. In your MetaMask browser, type in https column two forward slash stake dot co dot o r g. And if you have the link, you can just copy and paste the link into the search bar. This will take you to the validators page. So in the validators page, tap the menu and you will see where you can connect your wallet. I've already connected my wallet. That's why you can see my staking. And once your wallet is being connected, you will see your wallet address and uh, it will show call mainnet. So now you have list of validators. There are 22 validators, but 21 active validators. What that means is that you have 21 active validators then one inactive validator so these are the validators you see active validators with active icon and there is one inactive validator so what this means is that you can only delegate to the active validators okay you can only delegate to the active validators now it's now up to you to choose which validator you want to delegate your call to okay there are 21 active validators with different commission and different apr so apr simply means annual percentage rate and commission is what the node or the validator is getting from you so you have to choose which validator you want to delegate your call to this apr is what will be divided into daily reward in 365 days so also note that apr changes per time the apr you see now is not constant all right let's go ahead and delegate let's say i want to delegate to node providers okay so I will tap on the node providers. So that will take me to the node providers delegating page. Okay. So tap on delegate, then input the amount of call you want to delegate. Note that the minimum call you can delegate is one. So let's say I want to delegate five call. So I will type in five, then tap delegate and tap confirm so now transaction succeed then i will close now i have successfully delegated five call to node providers okay i have to wait for the first 48 hours to claim my first reward then after that i can claim my reward every 24 hours and to claim my reward i will tap on this menu then you will see my staking wallet address and call minute okay so now i'm going to tap on this my staking so once i tap on the my staking it will bring me to where i can claim my reward okay because i just delegated to this validator that's why i have no call to claim yet so i will wait the first 48 hours then to claim my first reward after then i can always claim my reward after 24 hours all right when you are done delegating to one validator you can always go back to the validators page and delegate to more validators if you want to so how to go back you tap this call you tap on call that will take you back to the page where you will have the list of validators then you can go ahead and delegate to more validators if you wish to 
Note that whenever you delegate your call, the call will leave your wallet and be added to the validator's node. Okay, so let's take a look at my wallet now. I've delegated five call, so I'll tap this menu to go back to my wallet. I'll tap wallet. Now you can see that I have 0.9 core in my wallet. Before now, I had 5.9 core in my wallet, but because I've delegated five core, so I have 0.9 core left in my wallet. All right, so let's go back to the validators page. Okay, now on validators page, and if I want to undelegate my core from a particular validator, I will come here and see the list of validators I have delegated to. So I have two validators that I have delegated to. I have Positron, then I have Node Providers. So let's say I want to undelegate from Node Providers. So I will tap on Node Providers. So once I tap on the Node Providers, I will see the Undelegate button here. Tap on delegate button, then tap on delegate, tap confirm. So now I've successfully on delegate the five core I delegated to node providers. So if I go back to my wallet, the five core is now deposited. You can see the five core is now deposited into my wallet. It's back into my wallet. So that is how you can delegate and undelegate your core. Note that you should always visit validators page to know when a validator is no longer active so that you can transfer your core to another active validator. Because when a validator is no longer active, you will not earn reward from that validator from the moment the validator stopped being active. So it's good to always check so that you don't delegate your call and be expecting reward after um, a long time and end of the day and you find that you have not earned any uh, reward from that validator, all right? So whenever you discover that a validator is no longer active and you have delegated to that validator when the validator was active, you can always transfer the core to another active validator. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done that before. Remember to like this video, share this video. Thank you and see you in another one.